Hi Cancer! Welcome to Pandora Astrology's monthly horoscope for September of 2020. We've got Mars activity for you. We promised that last month and now it's happening. Uh, never your favorite, but good to know how to grapple with it, right? And uh, also there's stuff happening with Venus and Mercury and, uh, and the moons as well. Julia, you want to start us off with that Mars stuff? Sure, Jamie. Well, hey there, Cancer. Now, Mars, the planet of conflict and activity, is going retrograde on September 9th in your 10th house. This is the house of career, and it also rules authority figures as well. So this means you could be running into frustrations in your career. Maybe you're trying to just advance forward and you feel like others are just blocking your efforts. Mm. Or you could also be having more flare-ups with the authority figures in your life, whether that's your parents, your teachers, mm. um, your boss, or any any government, government official like a cop too, that would all fall under the 10th house. Um, mm. Now, between September 10th and 12th, um, all of the outer planets this month are going to go retrograde, including Mars too. And this is a pretty big deal for everybody. It basically means that this isn't the right period to start anything new. Um, just kind of keep keep milling along on the stuff that you're already working on, but not a good time to buy a home, not a good time to set up a new business, for example. Mm -hmm. um, and Jamie and I actually made a whole video about Mars going retrograde and triggering the pandemic hot degree in our 2020 news playlist. So if you want to see how this cycle affects the world at large, I totally recommend that one. Um, now, moving on, Mercury, the planet of communication and thought, is direct and fast. And it's going to be entering Libra on September 5th, which is your fourth house of security. Mm. Now, you love security, Cancer. Oh, yeah. um, and when Mercury is moving through this house, it means that our mind is, is more on our home, more on all of the things that kind of give us sort of a structure and a foundation in life, including security. Um, you could also be thinking a lot about the past, too, because that's also ruled by the fourth house. And it's a great time for communicating well with your family members or the people you live with. Mm. Uh, now, Venus, the planet of relationships and beauty, is also direct and fast. She enters Leo on September 5th as well, or September 6th, depending on your time zone. It's kind of right in between there. Mm. Um, but that correlates with your second house. Second house is the house of stuff. It's the house of the money that you earn versus the money that you share with others, which is the opposing eighth house. Um, so when Venus comes into this house, you're going to be feeling really spendy. Um, this is going to be a month where you're going to be on, you know, filling up your Amazon cart a lot more than usual. Um, and if you buy things which are Venus ruled, so beauty things, uh, you know, artistic things, if you want to buy some new prints to hang in your house, or um, what else does uh, beauty, art, what are other things? Luxury if you can manage too. to get a hair cut <laughs> yeah exactly um Something that would for all your style. Totally be papered under this transit as well mm -hmm. so there are a couple of moons happening and right at the beginning of the month on september 1st which we'll generally feel for the day before and the day after as well as the day of we have ourselves a full moon which is happening in pisces and that falls in your ninth house opposite the sun in virgo in your third house and there's a duality going on here between um, a side of us that is a little more rational, a little more logical, and more grounded and measurable reality, as opposed to a side of us that's very dreamy, very imaginative, and, and even artistic and spiritual or, or even psychic. And so that is uh, engaging in this push-pull, and uh, the moon, which is the main feature of a full moon, is, um, is really lighting up your ninth house of worldview, of the higher mind, of travel, growth, and expansion. And so um, you might be dreaming of trips that you can make in the future. And, and we're calling this, dream, this uh, moon dreaming plus strategic action. So the great thing to know about that is that even though probably you can't travel now, um, if you dream up the travel that you would like to do, you may be able to take actions that will lead to actually being able to do that travel in the future. Um, so then halfway through the month on the 17th, we have got the new moon, which is falling in the third house there. And that is the house of logic and things rational. It's a house of learning and school and siblings and your immediate environment. So that house is um, activated by this new moon. <clears throat> and we're calling this new moon integrity holds the key because integrity is very much a Virgo theme and as this moon culminates it falls in um, the last third of Virgo 
forming a really beautiful trine over here to Pluto, which is still very close to the pandemic hot degree. And so we're all still living under the conditions of the pandemic and feeling that sense of oppression, but this new moon would seem to bring a kind of a respite, a kind of a, um, a moment of peace and relaxation, and uh, also the opportunity to plant seeds that can help us going forward with uh, facing the spiritual lesson of the pandemic hot degree. And if you wanna know more about that, we've made a video about it, which you can find in our Astrology of Pandemic Year 2020 playlist. And um, also, if you wanted a reading to find out more about any of these things that we've mentioned, probably the natal and transit reading is the best one because it's the most flexible. You can um, get answers about a variety of topics in that one. It's not super focused. And uh, you can always find us on our website for readings at pandoraastrology.com. Add slash services to that for readings. Add slash horoscopes to that if you want to find your horoscope. And uh, if this is your rising sign, you could go check out your sun sign. Uh, if this is your sun sign, check out your rising sign because it'll always work better. And I think that's all we have for you this month, Cancer. I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you next month all around the cosmos like we do. Bye. Bye-bye.